morning. Please excuse my hot messness. And if you ever have to show this video to the class, don't choose this one, okay? Um, today, Sarah Rule, Dead Man Cell Phone. Not that exciting to me because I've already seen it. The play. I don't know. There's not a movie. Um, but you probably know if you watch any of my other videos, or if this is one very. Um, I'm not a big fan of knowing what's going to happen when I read something. And I already knew it was going to happen, so not my favorite situation ever. But nonetheless, it was okay. Um, not my favorite Sarah Rule. I really like Eurydice, as you might know. Um, but it's not bad. There are a couple things I want to go over that I thought were kind of weird or odd, and it's only because I, well, some of it is only because I have never read it. Um, first off, I want to start with the beginning, which is super weird. You have it saying, I mean, you, have, you read the play in scene one on page seven, and it's like, you know, she's writing a thank you letter, she's really sweet, and she doesn't want to take up space, and then the next page, she's all up in some guy's business, grabbing his cell phone, realizes he's dead, and then, like, this giant thing continues, which I think is really weird. All of a sudden, she's lying, she's putting herself in everything, all up in other people's business. Um, of course, I didn't knew that, but still odd. Another thing, is this a play or a novel? Because some of the stage directions seem a bit odd. Like, she thinks the word love, or some explanations, which I get, I guess they could be for the director, but some of them are just, like, super odd. Um, I really, it's cool, I guess, for a reader to be able to read these kind of things, but, I don't know, weird. Um, next, what is going on? She goes and she just starts telling lies to people and, oh, he said he loved you. Oh, he doesn't say that he knew he was going to die, but he went to the gift shop at the restaurant to buy you these things? Weird. Um, yeah, super weird. I was kind of waiting, like, at dinner for her to say something along the lines of, you know, oh, well, he loved your meat. And they're like, what are you talking about? He's a vegetarian. I really wanted that to happen. <laughs> Um, what else, what else? He's a, like, black market organ donor? Come on, Sarah Rule. Next, we're going to be reading about Jerry Springer. Um, and I really did like the ending. I like how we did go over in class the epigraph in the beginning from John Don, Don John, John, John Donay. I'm not sure how you say it, The Undertaking. It's a snippet from, I assume, a poem, maybe? I should probably look that up before I started this. Um, but he says, let's love each other better than the worthies did. That's so sweet. If someone said that to me, which my husband will not say that to me, but if someone said that to me, I'd be like, ah, I love you. Um, and he goes on to say it's from a poem, and hopefully it clicked for some of you. Some of you, like lots of you are watching this or something. Um, but overall, it's an okay play. I'm not stoked about it. It's not something where I'm like, oh my god, let's... Again, I did see it before, before I ever read it, before I ever knew who Sarah Rule was. Um, but it's an alright read. It's not bad. I wouldn't, on Goodreads, I'd probably, like, I don't know, rate it at 3.5. Um, so, yeah. If you didn't read Sarah Rule, now you got kind of a quick overcap, and you can probably pass Lumberry's test. 